trauma, not being able to move anywhere. And is this a memory from this life or a past life memory? Past life memory. Well, I'd like to go to that past life so that you'll be able to tell me what happened there. I'm female. You're female. So tell me about this stuck trauma that happened in that life. Describe what happened to you. I got a sword embedded in it. There's blood everywhere, pain. I was fighting, I was female. Fighting in a field mm -hmm. and someone put a sword through that left hip. And you've been carrying that pain in the left hip ever since? Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. What country was it there that you were fighting in? Italy. You were in Italy. But now you've been highlighted, this will be an issue that we are able to heal today. So would you like us to take that memory back to spirit so it can be restored and replenished? Yes, please. Disturbance that she's got in her head. Is it the left, the right, front or back? Where does she keep this energy in her head? The back. In the back of the head. Kim, what I want you to do is I want you to go and find that energy now. And as you're going into the back of the head there, begin to draw that energy and that all that consciousness towards the throat. Energy, tell me, what are you doing in the back of the head there? Why are you there? Do you not want to talk to me? So how long have you been there? Not long. So what caused you to rest at the back of my client's head? How did you get in? Feeling frustrated at times. Mm -hmm. Tell me, did you have a life before or are you just energy? What's your name? Just energy. You're just energy. So how did you get into the back of the head? Was it her that was frustrated or was it you? It was me. Mm -hmm. And what kind of symptoms do you cause are there energy? Pain. Sickness. So really, you're not, very not, nice. you're not very nice to her. Well, where did you come from, Energy? I came from Energy around me. I see. So you were manifested Energy? Yeah. So Energy, you know you're causing her quite a lot of pain and sickness. And do we need to keep doing that to her or are you ready to leave now? Ready to leave. Okay. So, does my client have many guides working with her today? She does, yes. Describe those guides to me. What do they look like? One of them is in an Indian headdress. He's male. About. 40 years of age. And what qualities does he bring to her? Healing qualities. Mm -hmm. And you say there's more than one guide there? Yeah, I can see an Egyptian. An Egyptian. And what does she get from that guide? Strength and courage. And does she have any more guides with her there? Or is, are those the two main ones that are working with her? Just the two main ones. Mm -hmm. And tell me, 
when she's doing all her Reiki and her light work, all her different therapies, she feels a spirit to the left side of her. Can we today find out who is there that's working with her when she's doing her light work? Yes. Who is that? It's the Indian guide. Indian guide. Thank you. And so is he passing down to her his ancient healing? Yes. And my client had a question about her thyroid. Do we have to have, have we dealt with that issue today? Or is is there something else that we can glean from that? It's been dealt with today. Thank you. And she also had a question about her headaches. But we've been in the back of the head. Tell me, how is her head looking now? Have we dealt with that issue? Yes, it's good. Good. And the last question was about any previous lives that she's had with Patrick. Kim, can you, can you put any light on that? Have they have past lives before? They have, yes. Describe one of those past lives to me. I can see we're both Indians. Indians, I see. Native Indians. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Can I ask another question for my client? When she's in meditation, does she stay in her body? Um, do people come drawn to her to help her? But has she got the capability of transferring herself somewhere else? How does this help her? Being somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So can she astral travel? Yes. When she's a mind to astral travel, Kim, I want you to see one of those experiences and tell me where does she go when she astral travels? Does she go to space or different planets or different souls? Goes into space, sees stars, mm -hmm. the moon, animals. And what does she get from these journeys that she goes to? Peace of mind. Mm -hmm. 